Hey guys, this is Reggie. Um, not doing a, a review of anything today, but kind of like a, a V-blog, I guess you can call it, um, to talk about something that I thought was interesting. Um, just found out a few days ago that uh, YouTube is going to be releasing um, a new service called uh, YouTube TV, which, is, I, which I think is freaking badass. That's pretty awesome. Um, I would like to subscribe to it. The downside is course, there's only 35 channels or so. Um, so, you know, it's it's not that good, but I know YouTube and I think I think you get YouTube red with it, too I'll double check on that um, So that's that's great, you know cable. I hate cable uh, I Honestly hate Comcast. They're garbage monopolizing everything. I'll stop. I don't want to rant about that. But anyway um, So that's that's pretty cool. And then we got direct TV of course with their service, which is insane 35 bucks for like 60 something channels crazy crazy good and then we got other services too. Um, I think Apple TV, blah, blah, blah. I mean, there, there's so many services coming on. I'm super excited that there's finally something happening where we don't have to rely on cable TV, which is pretty lame to get on this. And everybody is excited from what I read. The, the problem, here's, here's the problem that nobody's mentioning is we're getting all these online services, watching TV, live TV, recording TV, cloud TV, blah, whatever TV, right? Even Netflix, um, Hulu, blah, blah, all these guys. Um, the problem is this, uh, if you have Comcast, and I don't know if other service providers do it too, but if you have Comcast, you're capped. They're capping the shit out of your internet. It pisses me off. Like, so we're moving in the direction of new technology. Um, everything going data, right? I mean, everybody's streaming, who the hell? I mean, there's such a small, small count of people now that don't stream, everybody streams something. And now with these TV services, people are gonna be using that. I haven't had cable TV or satellite TV in years because I don't need it. I'm, I could care less. If I wanna watch a show, I'll go online and, and watch it there legitimately. I don't even have to like, you know, illegally torrent or something like that. So, um, I don't see a point of, of getting cable TV. However, Comcast and there's, and I'm really into Comcast because I have Comcast, so, and, and I hate Comcast, but unfortunately I don't have a choice. They're sneaky bastards. What they're doing is they're capping everybody to one terabyte because the average is like 300 gigabytes that people use. Well, guess what? I'm not the average, you know? 1% only use one terabyte or terabyte. Well, apparently I'm in the 1%. Um, all these things that we'll be buying, like I'm gonna probably go for either DirecTV or YouTube, I'm debating about the two. All these things that we're gonna be doing, they're gonna use the shit out of our data. I have like a hard time managing my data flow right now. I've got, you know, me, myself, my wife, my two kids. Uh, we use a lot of data, I use a lot of data. So now that each one of us will be streaming one of these, you know, either YouTube or DirecTV one, um, that's two times people streaming. And then my kids, if they have good cartoons and stuff, um, they're gonna be streaming it too. We got four people streaming constantly, along with the other things we do every day, um, downloading stuff, um, playing games, uh, watching YouTube shows. I, I binge a lot, so th that's my thing. It's Twitch TV. Um, this just racks up your data like crazy, like just freaking nuts. Um, how why is nobody doing anything about it you know um i know when comcast first did it to our side i'm in cali by the way um there was a thing where you can f sign up for or come do a complaint and i did and you know nothing came out of it so it was pointless because there wasn't a big enough number but i did it you know i did complain to fcc i think it was or whatever it was um nobody's complaining comcast is monopolizing the entire system you know and i, I know people are gonna probably be like well you know you're a one percent you need to pay more for for the more you use no that's bullshit okay i should not pay more for more i use that that's the dumbest thing ever like what i pay a higher tier i'm paying for um the 300 megabit uh speed okay because i use that if I wanted, if I didn't use my speeds, my data, I would probably get a garbage internet because I don't use it, but I use my internet. I actually take advantage of it and I use it like I need to. So when people argue back, I'm like, you guys are idiots. You know, just because you, you don't use it shouldn't mean that I get penalized for your, I need to calm down. I was gonna have a stupid idea, but 
because you don't want to do it. Anyway, again, I'm writing, sorry. <laughs> um, I think it's unfair. And I think now that all these companies are going streaming services, somebody needs to bring up the fact that, you know, that's great that you're doing streaming services, but um, if your ISP is not going to let you have unlimited data, what's the point? Like, I'm kind of torn. I know for a fact, because right now I'm only 100 or 200 gigabytes under my one terabyte cap a month. It's freaking nuts. I have to watch my data so bad. Um, once I get the streaming services, I will always be, um, sorry, I will always be over capped. And then to get unlimited um, serve, uh, data from Comcast, I have to pay $50 on top of what I pay right now. So my my monthly is sixty dollars a month for three hundred uh, uh, megabyte speeds. Then another fifty for no change except I get unlimited. The f are you kidding me? So I'm gonna pay that much for the same speed, for the same service, for the same everything. That's the stupidest thing ever. I wish Google Fiber was here, but of course, no, it's not on my side. But anyway, that's what I want to talk about. You know. People are excited. I'm excited about this whole streaming services, streaming TV stuff that's happening, 4K streaming, blah, 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 all these things. That's great. We're advancing so good. I'm super happy. On the flip side, we're pretty crap and garbage when it comes to our ISP ruling us. You know, They pretty much own us right now because we are capped. We are handicapped by them. They control what we do. And that shouldn't be. I thought this was, you know, Political, not even political. I thought this was freedom, you know, but we are not. We are restricted. So, anyway, um, that's my rant. Um, I don't know if this is a vlog or a rant or what type of video this is, but um, you know, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, do you think this is fine? Do you think do you agree, disagree, like, dislike, you know, all that crap? Uh, subscribe if you want more. But you know, I just I had to get this out because um, I was a little, I was super excited, but then I realized I had calm crap. And I, then I just pretty much said, oh, fuck, I'm screwed. <laughs> All right, well, anyway, thanks for uh, watching, guys. Um, I will talk to you in the next one. Peace. I don't know where the pause button is. Sorry. Uh, there it is.